Hey guys, this is William and welcome to the next video where we'll be discussing everything related to audio within the Vision Egg Adventure Game System. So in this section we will discuss how to incorporate sound within your game. So in Vision Air we've got three types of sounds or audios. We've got music, which is your background music. We've got voice, which is obviously the character's voices. And we have sound effects. Now, uh, first thing to note is that the format of the audio files should prefer preferably be .org Vorbis. What you can do is with, with the training files, you will get this document on screen and you can go and read up on this link. Uh, quite simply, you can use a, a free audio software, uh, Audacity to convert any file uh, audio format to uh, Og Vorbis. Okay, so that's important. Right. Uh, next, we're going to look at each type of sound that you add, and the first will be your background music. Now, to access that area, it, it we need to click on the the actual scene that we want the music to play. So I've got my elevator scene. I've got my hallway scene. We're going to click on hallway. And then I'm going to click on properties. Now, right here, I've got a field called background music. You can see it right there. And this is where we load in our background music to play. Now, to do that, click on this, these three little dots right there. And then navigate to your music folder and then choose this and double click and it's added for you. If you want to preview the sound, you can click on this little icon right there and it should play. Now, if it does, if there is no sound, let's quickly just go and check our properties because it could be that it's set to not play. So to do that, click on the options menu here and go to options and then on the player, Ensure to untick, do not play sounds, do not play videos, but it's really this one we want to untick. So I'm going to click OK and let's run the game again. Ah, and I can hear my music is playing. Okay, great. So our background music is playing and it's looping and this is now specific for our scenes. So that's easy enough. So now we're going to look at adding sounds. Uh, we will add a sound when my character uses my door object. Okay. So I'm going to select the door object and I will go to my actions tab right here and click on use because that's where I want the sound to play if my character uses the door. So I will add a new action part by clicking on the plus icon. And then in the action part menu, I need to click on multimedia. Now there are several options available here, which is sound related. The one I'm interested in is play sound. So I will click on that. So this will now play my sound, um, as, as I want. Uh, but I want the sound to play before my character speaks. I'm going to choose that and I'm going to click here to move it up so that that happens first. Now when selected, I've got this, this area right here where I can load in my sound. This is the sound file. I'm going to click there to browse and to find my sound, <clears throat> to find my sound. It will be door locked. So I'll double click. If I want to preview it, I can click there. And it should preview. We also have this tick box, wait until sound is finished. If this is ticked, it will play this. It will wait until the sound is finished and then only move on. And then the character will talk. Also quickly here on the volume, this is the original volume, the zero value. So it's 100%. This is a relative value, similar to AV receivers which also often shows volume in dB and with negative values. So you can adjust it as needed. Uh, let's quickly play our game and just see how it looks if the sound plays. 
So my music is playing and I'm going to use my door. I can hear it. Good. Right, so that's done. Now, last item, let's quickly add voiceover for our character. Now to do that, it's obviously on our display text action part. And what you can see here is we've got a little audio area right here. And to add that in, it is as simple as just clicking on that and then choosing the voiceover work. Now let's play our scene and let's see if it works. It is playing, but what you can notice is that the audio is is very much the background music is is too loud, so I can't hear what my characters are saying, uh, or you know it's not loud enough. So I need to adjust or equalize the audio a bit. Now to do that, you click on the game settings, and then click on game properties. Make sure you're there, and then here at Begin start following action. Click on this little um, lightning bolt. Now here you get the option to add another action part and we're going to call it change volume. Now the reason why we're doing it here because this is when we start the game we want I'm just going to clear all of this because I want to um, explain. When we start the game, everything in this area will be set at the start. Now, this is why I don't add an action part called change volume here. I want it to happen when my game starts. So to do that, we access this at begin start following action. So at when the game launches, do the following actions first. Now, it makes sense to add my audio here. And it, it accesses the same action parts you can see here. So this is a very versatile function. Normally, this sort of thing would happen in the menu where uh, uh, the player will go and change the volume and so on. But right now, we're not there yet with the menus. So we are going to do it in this way. So I'm going to choose multimedia and then change volume. So here, the current volume is set to zero. Now note, I've got different types of of um, audio. Now I'm going to choose music and I am going to make it let's say let's see how this works 15. Now if I wanted to adjust the others I would need to add additional audio but I'm not going to do that so ah see the audio sound is a lot softer and now if I use it Okay, so the music is softer, my audio is a bit louder, the voice acting is not great, but you get the idea. Uh, so eventually, when we get to the menus, we'll incorporate this actually into menus where the user can affect it. Uh, and that's pretty much it for, for audio. Uh, it's, it's quite straightforward. Um, 